Okay, we want to use the Laplace transform to solve a simple differential equation. So the idea is we take the Laplace transform of the whole kit and caboodle and see what we get. So in this case, because of the linearity of the Laplace transform, we can break the whole thing out. So Laplace transform to the left is equal to Laplace transform to the right. And on the left, we can use the properties of the Laplace transform for the derivative and solve it for the Laplace transform of the function. Here, the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. Using the properties Laplace transform for derivatives, I can break it out. Here the initial condition is 0, so that simplifies. And I can factor the Laplace transform of y out so that I get the following expression. Solving for the Laplace transform of y, divide through by the s plus 3, and I can then use that to isolate the Laplace transform of y. Now I've got a problem that I got a Laplace transform of y is equal to a big, long, nasty expression. So I'm going to have to find a way to simplify that. So of course I'm going to use partial fractions. So I'll use my standard partial fraction expansion. In this case it's pretty straightforward. And I have to solve for a and b. Let's multiply through by the denominator. And, and I can choose clever values for s. And that will help me figure out what are the values for a and b. So for my first value for s, let me try oh, s equals 0. So if I try s equals 0, I then get that a is equal to 1 third. My next clever choice for s is going to be equal to minus 3, which will allow me to isolate b, and I get that b is negative 1 third. Now when I have a and b, I can plug those back in for the Laplace transform of y, and then I can use the inverse Laplace transform to figure out what the heck y is. So in this case, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s is equal to 1. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 3 is e to the minus 3t. So I get that y is 1 third minus 1 third times e to the minus 3t. And that is the solution to my differential equation. And now I have to underline it. Otherwise, people won't know what it is. Oh, I got to underline the whole thing, though. There we go.